Back inside the program with the North Carolina Tar Heels, I am with quarterback Marquise Williams. So goes Marquise, so go the North Carolina Tar Heels. Marquise, how incumbent is it upon you? How much do you think about and work towards being the engine that runs this team? Well, it's just, just being a leader. It's been, you know, I've been through so much here, and having the opportunity to lead this football team is grateful, you know, and been through so much, and I've seen so many coaches go, and, you know, the guys knowing that what I've been through didn't never change me or never broke me. They can depend on me, and it's, that's, that's a great opportunity for me. When you say what you've been through, everything you've been through, kind of give us an idea of what that is. Well, you know, I've been, I've been suspended from school. Um, I've been well, kicked out of school. I've been benched. You know, I've been rotated through quarterbacks. And just, just the things you, um, people thought that would broke me, um, break me, but it never did. You know, I still smiled about it to this day, and I still have fun. And it's, I seize every adversity as an opportunity. And you're still here. And you're yes, leading sir. this team. So obviously you're committed. We're at your locker now. Yes, sir. This says Marquise Williams committed. Yes, what sir. does this mean? That means I'm committed to anything. I put in the effort, you know, just to be better. I put in extra work, and the coaches are like what I've been doing to lead the guys when things wasn't right and when things were tough. You know, they want to see how well can you lead the team when, when things are just going south, you know, and they feel like I was, a, I was committed to the team and I would do anything to help us be successful this year. I understand, too, Coach Fedora kind of has a grading scale for you guys. Yeah. What is that grading scale? Well, a grading scale is just like being a leader. You know, he put it like one through ten, and he put me as a ten. And there's a lot of guys on this team that's, that's tens, you know, but he wanted me to be that that outstanding leader. You know, like I say, talks when, talk about when things are not going right, you know, step up and lead the guys, you know. Just don't lead the guys when things are going good. We'll talk about your trip to Bank of America Stadium in a moment. Before we get to that, <laughs> Let's go back to the last time you were at Bank of America mm -hmm. Stadium. Didn't play well, young right. man. Lost to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about yourself and your team that day? I learned that t um, that we was going to be successful. We was going to have a good football team. And I learned that, you know, I couldn't turn the football over. But the main thing, I didn't have fun that game. You know, I've been having fun for the rest of this. Um, after the game, i just been having fun. And I knew that having fun it was going to take me a long way. You know, if I'm not excited about the game, and why, why, am I, why am I out there? So I turned around. I just started to have fun and started to lead the guys. And, those guys needed me, and I was I was there for them. Clemson, number one team in America, right. nasty defense. That's right. As you study them, what do you see? Uh, big physical team, very big physical, um, run to the f um, football, very big, very, very big up front, and that's a good football team. They're not number one for nothing. Got to play well, young man. Yes, sir. We appreciate your time. Good Thank luck. you so much, guys. We're inside the program with Mark Quise and his guys all day long here in Chapel Hill.